What's up everybody? Today we're going to be tying the bubblegum crappie jig. It's a really simple pink jig that drives crappie crazy. So for this jig, I'm going to be using a 1 32nd ounce jig head with a size 6 hook. I powder painted this jig head with Protec Pink. For the thread, I'm going to be using a white uni thread, 6 aught size. We're just going to start that thread behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. For the tail, I'm going to be using a light bubblegum colored marabou feather. It's just a really light pink. So I'm just going to run my fingers up the feather from the stem to the tips. And we're going to measure that out so that the length is about the length of the hook. So once you've got that the length you want it, you can pinch it in on the hook shank there. Just right at the point of the hook. And then use your thread to tie it down tight. Give it a few really tight wraps before you let go of the feather. And then you can tie the butt end the rest of the way up to the head. Once you got that tied in tight, you can clip that butt end. And then just go over the fluffies with your thread. And then you can take the thread back down to the tail just to give that a few more really tight wraps. Make sure it doesn't move around. Check it out, make sure it looks good. Make any adjustments you need. And then once you're happy with it, just bring the thread back up to the head. For the body, I'm going to be using this pink New Age chenille. It's just a pink chenille that has some crystal flash in it. So we're just going to take a piece of that, tie the tag end in at the head as you tie that chenille down to the tail. Once you got that tied in to where the tail is, you can start winding that chenille. Just make sure none of those tail fibers are trapped under it. And then you can start twisting that up the body. Just do nice, even, tight turns. Make sure they're pressed right up against the last so that you don't have any holes in the body. And once you've got that touching the head, you can just tie that down, give it four or five tight wraps of thread. And then one wrap in front of the chenille. Then just clip it off as close as you can. Then just go over that a couple more times to make sure the tag end is tied down sufficiently. And now we're going to whip finish. Just a four or five turn whip finish should do it. And cut the thread. So that's it. It's a super simple jig. I like to do the pink head and the pink body about the same pink. And then I like to do a really light pink for the tail. It just makes it stand out more. And crappie sure do love this one. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified for all future uploads so you don't miss any of my future jigs. See you next time.